say, uh, okay, uh, we've got to fill out the forms, you've got to dig out every paper you ever gave, you've got to dig out every speech to every civic association, every rally, everything you ever wrote, uh, everything you've ever done, and you must submit it to the Senate so they can uh, find you uh, uh, as qualified to be on the Supreme Court. So what we have here, she made 89 Senate office calls before the hearing started. I liken that to spring training in baseball. What you do is you take the nominee into every senator's office who asks to see her, and naturally they all want their photograph taken with the new judge to be, the justice to be. And uh, you go in and you uh, sit and you talk to the senator in an informal setting to which he asks you and you talk, uh, it's not off the record, nor is it on the record, but it telegraphs where that senator is coming from because you better believe that he will ask those same questions in the hearing. That's why I call it spring training. So you've got to have somebody there to remember what you said to the senator because he's going to certainly ask it uh, in a, whenever the hearing starts in a week or ten days. And this senator here is liable to ask you the same thing. You better have the same answer to him, too, as you did to him, because these guys are talking. What did she say to you? What did he say to you? So they talk to each other, and so you have to sit her down, and you go through something I call murder boards, uh, where you sit around and you discuss questions and you uh, kick things around. Every question that is possibly comes under the sun with lawyers and non-lawyers uh, to get her prepared for the hearing. What I bring to the party, I'm not a lawyer, <laughs> but I can bring to the party is the answer washing. I've been through enough of these. I've been, uh, I can count them sometime. I got up to 350, 400 confirmations for various people uh, through the years, including uh, Rockefeller when he's vice president, Ford when he's vice president, Kissinger, Hay, uh, 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 as I said, the, the Supreme Court justices. I did Rumsfeld in the last confirmation. Uh, uh, group, uh, uh, all those Defense Department guys. I've done cabinet officers and I've done lowly, not lowly, nobody's ever lowly, but uh, uh, third deputy assistants of the Bureau of Land Management. And the process is still the same for all of them. Uh, the one thing that I say to all of them is uh, what is there in your background uh, that has not appeared on any of these papers, that the files are this thick, uh, that is going to embarrass you or embarrass the president because better believe it's coming up. They're going to ask it in the hearing. And I said that to one fellow one time who, had a, who was going to be something at the State Department. I said, uh, let me ask you the nightmare question. Uh, what have you got? What, what is there in your background that's, good, oh. that's not on here? And he stopped for a second and he said, how do they know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I said, what? And he said, oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 he withdrew his name. 